This is the griddle that I got from my husband's mom. It's part of the reason why I married the man. It's a really nice cast iron griddle. You can find them in antique stores and out in junk shops. They're really cheap, but they really cook well. When I was in Spain, they did fish for me on a griddle, and I want to show you how they do that. Little tiny bit of oil on a nice hot griddle. Take your fish seasoned with salt and pepper and just smear it on the griddle. Turn it so the oil gets over the entire surface. Put your second piece down. In the background I have these great slow braised greens. They're cooked long and slow. It's mustard greens and kale and chard and they're cooked with onions and red wine. And over here I have a really simple piquillo pepper sauce that is easily made ahead. As you see it, my fish is getting nice and crispy. So the spatula goes right underneath, flip it right over. And there you go, beautiful, beautiful fish. You remember the Canadian rule for cooking fish is 10 minutes per inch of thickness. So these are about a half an inch, maybe even a little bit less. So I need less than five minutes total cooking time, which is really great. So you want to have all your accompaniments ready to go. So I'm going to take a little bit of my greens, and I'm going to do a nice little nest of my greens in the middle of the plate, big enough to put my fish on. I'm going to take some of my piquillo pepper sauce, which is one of the most beautiful sauces in the world, and put it around the greens. I wish you could smell this. It has the most wonderful aroma. And then I'm going to place my fillet of fish on top. Voila. To finish it off, we're going to use a very simple condiment called tapenade which is capers and onions and shallots, all my favorite things, chopped up. This one's with black olives, and this one's with green olives. And so you get a nice contrast in flavors with your fish. So if you don't feel like making this great dish at home, come and visit us at Go Fish in St. Helena, or again, you can find it in Big Small Plates, my cookbook. Hope to see you soon.